to dialogue in this regard. Uh, with regards to the race issue, subhanAllah, I mean, it's a very interesting time to see what is going on in this country. And uh, I gave a khutbah recently, also had an interview with Imam Zayd Shaq, uh, you know, and those are both online. And one thing that uh, really struck me, even when I was doing the Sira research, and it struck me even back then, 10 years ago, the, uh, the importance that Islam stressed on this issue of all peoples being equal. And I'll just give you, you know, two simple examples. He will give you two simple examples, but he cannot find us the examples from the Quran. He says to us in the Quran that Allah, he made us nations to introduce to each other. <laughs> but isn't it the same God? He says, kill the nations who don't believe in me. Peace of Christ to all of you. This video started by saying, Yasir Qadri, saying to Mimi Hijab, I appreciate your honesty. When the fact that Mimi Hijab, he edited this video and he took a big portion of it. And this is nothing new for Mimi Hijab, the little girl who always do that, for he is a fraud. If you remember, he edited my video and he, you know, when he claimed that he can debate me, but the coward, because he knew he is no match, when we called him, he played a short video saying, a Christian prince saying to a, a Muslim woman, suckle me, when in fact, the conversation was the opposite. It was a Muslim woman saying that Jesus was playing with his mother body part sexually. I'm not going to say the word. You can go and watch it. And Mimi Hijab, he cut the video. The faith he coward just to make me supposedly look bad. But by doing that, actually, he proved that he is a fraud because everybody listen to the video and see or so how he is a fraud. He always edited video to play with it and take the words out of their context to make himself look better. He cannot debate me. He play a game, filthy game, and this game helped me a lot to bring many people out of Islam. And now Yasser Qadri is no better than Mimi Hijab. Both are from the same underwear, which is the underwear of Muhammad. I want to say the underworld maybe, not the underwear, but because their prophet himself was accused of staying underwear, and he have a history of underwear problem. So we, I'm going to say, both of them they are coming from the underwear this guy he just said islam teach that all people are equal how truthful that is i'm using my phone so i apologize if i don't have the privilege of showing you clear images this is the quran chapter 59 where it says not all people are equal is it, is it equal those who will go to hell and those who will not go to hell which means the muslims and non-muslim but the coward, he said, all of us, we are equal. And we can show you tons of verses speaking about this. Well, you know, the Quran, as an example, says in chapter 9, verse 28, that the kuffar, all of them, they are najis. If you don't know what najis mean, uh, najis mean that you are filthy, dirty. And this is Quran, chapter 9, verse number 28. But this person, he said, that we are equal. If we do little search in the Quran, we will see even the Quran discriminate between Muslims themselves. Those who do jihad and those who don't do jihad are not equal. Chapter 4, verse number 95. Chapter 5, verse 100. A chapter, I mean, it's all over. It says, a chapter 6, verse number 50, the Quran describes us as we are the blind and we are not equal to the Muslims. And, you know, we can go on and on and on. And this is, clear evident that he is lying to us and the most important is if you go right now and search in google you will find no go zone in mecca which means there's a sign in the highway it says muslim only why because the quran says that christians and jews and hindus are a uh, uh, kuffar here this is a chapter of al-baqarah chapter number two it says here all you believe in the case of murder, free for a free, and free here is the Arab, a free white man, and black for the flag. You see here the word they say, Abd. Abd in Arabic means slave and black in the same time. And because it was always a black person, so the word is used as Abd. Even when the Muslim, when he humiliate himself, he called himself Abdullah, which means he make himself equal to a black slave when it's coming in front of Allah, but he is a free white man. As you see, ask yourself, if Islam make people equal, how in the world you say if a free man kill a free man, a free man will be killed. But if a free man kill a slave, his slave will be killed. If a free man kill a black man's slave, he will not be killed. A slave will be killed. 
a woman for a woman have you ever heard of a garbage when this guy he just said to us Islam make people equal how that can be and if they want to say to you that this verse is abrogated are you saying to me that Allah people start laughing at his understanding of the law of Moses so he changes change his mind <laughs> that's mean Muhammad is a fraud for this is in the case of murder how Allah abrogate the case of murder he was not just then that is one of the fraud of Islam and now let us see more we are just starting chapter 9 verse number 29 it says that those who they are not believers they cannot enter Mecca they cannot enter the Medina for they are filthy nudges in that Muslim translation they, which is very funny this is polluted <laughs> we are polluted if you see a black person or a white person he is a Muslim he's not a Muslim or a Hindu say to him you are polluted huh the fact in Arabic it says nudges nudges mean you are more filthy than garbage let us continue with those liars chapter 7 verse number 179 here it says that all non-muslims are equal to cattle these are like cattle do you see it anyone is not a muslim for muslims he is an animal actually there's a guy his name is dawa he dawa something he made a video you can search it where he said <laughs> the kuffar are the same as cows he have a bunch of cows behind him and he claimed that all the cows are the same as the Christian, the Jews. There's no benefit of them. The only one have benefit in the eye of Allah is the Muslims. And yet they say to us that Islam treat people equal. Let us continue. I'm just giving you a little difference because I'm using my phone. I apologize. I'm not using my computer. And I have to keep the video short because the recording software don't allow me to record for long video too. Here it says, according to their prophet, that if a Muslim he meet a person, he is a Christian or a Jew in the street, the Muslim he have to humiliate him, he have to spit in his face, he have to walk, to walk him in the sewage, force him to walk in the sewage, to make it simple for you. If a Muslim has a Qadri, and he is in control of America, and a black American, he is a Christian or he is a Jew, or he is a Hindu, or he is an atheist, the Muslim he have a duty to humiliate him and force him to walk in the water sewage. Read carefully. Abu Isa, the hadith is blah, 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 blah. It says that the Prophet, he ordered, he said, the Prophet, don't, don't proceed the Jews and the Christians with what? With, 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 the, with the greeting of peace. And this is the reference. I took a, 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 a screenshot, the reference, because when I read from the top, we will go to the page after. Here we go. This is the hadith from the top. Here it says, I went out with uh, my father to Syria. The people passed by. And they were those people, they were Christian, and they began to salute us. So the Christian, they are saluting the Muslim. This is how they're friendly they are. His father said, don't give them solution, uh, salute. Why? First, Abu Huraira reported that the message of Allah saying, do not salute them, the Jews and the Christian, first, and if you meet them, force them to walk in the most narrow alley. And if we go and see why this is happening, he will explain to you. Because if you saw you know, the Muslims, and the Muslim will order to humiliate them for this reason when one of them is met in the bath on the bath then the bath is not yield for him because doing so would amount to honor them this guy he said all people equal but if they see you in the street and this is an islamic state they have to humiliate you spit in your face and you are not allowed if you are a muslim to honor someone as a christian but this liar he just said islam is against racism against discrimination we are equal what a filthy liar are you saying you know i want i want to people to ask themselves which one we should believe the statement of muhammad as we see in the front of us or the statement of a fraud like mimi hijab and qadri you need to ask yourself this question and i think you know the answer already let us continue anyway i think this is enough but i will show you more The one who will destroy the Kaaba is an Ethiopian man, and Muhammad called him Dhusuwaiqatain, the person with two skinny, funny legs. And the reason Muhammad is calling him that way, because this is what they used to call the black people, for they are suffering from hunger as slaves. They capture them, they don't feed them good, and they feed them only if there is a war coming to prepare them for war. They use them to die for them. So Muhammad is claiming that the one who will destroy the Kaaba is an Ethiopian person and he is going to be he is the shaitan himself this is why he 
he is an Ethiopian. This is the shaitan coming to destroy the Kaaba, and he is from Habata, Habasha, which means he's an Ethiopian. And as you see, this is a Sahih Hadith. Let us continue. Muhammad, he said, three things interrupt a Muslim prayer. Which one? A woman, a donkey, and a black dog. Here you ask yourself, if Islam make people equal, how you don't even make your Muslim women equal to Muslim men? If women in Islam, they destroy, they destroy your prayer just because she's a female, and you made her equal to a donkey and to a dog. And here you need to notice that the dog is black. They asked the Messenger of Allah, a person who was hearing this hadith, he said to, his, uh, uh, to the narrator, what's wrong with the black dog? I mean, why he says a black dog will destroy your, dis, destroy your prayer? He says, oh, my, my nephew, I ask Allah Messenger the same as you asked me. He said, the black dog is shaitan. So Islam not only discriminate between a human, even dogs. Muhammad, he says, Kill every pure black animal. And this coward Qadr, he says, Islam don't discriminate. Even dogs, you don't leave them alone. So if, you, if he is a blonde dog, you don't kill him. If he is a white dog, don't kill him. If he is a black dog, kill him. Why? He is shaitan. And what is the difference between all those dogs? The color, as you see. Actually, there's a hadith even mentioned. He asked him, what is the difference between yellow and white and black dog? He said the black dog is shaitan. Here we see another hadith. In this hadith, you will see that the most person which Allah he hate I'm trying to zoom in for you is a person who is black the most person Allah he hate in the whole universe is a black person why for he is the head of the evil he is the most person from all the create how many billion we have how many billion they die from all of those the one which Allah he hate most is a black man and this coward, he says to us, we are the same and equal. And don't to mention that Muhammad, he, he called the Ethiopian Bilal, he called him the raisin head, making fun of his look. And yet they say to us, we are people who don't discriminate. This is a chapter 9, verse 28, where it says that the Christians, the Jews, the non-Muslims are filthy and they are <laughs> dirty. So, you know, when those people, they say something to you, claiming something, never believe them. They are liars all the way to their bones. And don't forget to do more editing into videos, Mimi Hijab, so people will laugh at you. You became the joke of everybody. You, did, you know, when you did the, that to my video, you know, in, in the first few minutes, maybe people, they believe you. But after we made or showed the real video, everybody was laughing at you. And you know, when I go back and I see uh, 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 Qadri speaking about the dignity and the honesty of Mimi Hijab, I that find it, that. You know, we all know that Islam came to I find it hilarious. And who is asking the question? Mimi Hijab asking the question about honesty and dignity. We've got some uh, very and important racism. things to speak to Dr. Yas al Qadi about today, inshallah. And um, what I wanted to start with, obviously, because of um, recent events, is um, kind of the race issue that we're kind of uh, being introduced in the, in the public discourse. Yeah, yeah. You know. This is the person who want to talk about race issue. And then Qadir, he says, I appreciate your honesty. You see, he is so honest to the point he cut half of your video, delete it because you expose Islam and you say that the Quran is a fraud. Appreciated your very um, probing questions last time. Yeah, mashallah, I like about you that you are asking uh, relevant questions uh, to an audience that I think is a little bit more niche audience because see some of these topics should not be like the race topic okay we can anyway you can watch the video and love thank you very much for watching don't forget to download the video share it everywhere we don't keep them for long Christ is Lord Islam is nothing but a fraud and this is a Christian prince was with you exposing those two potatoes thank you